And of course, the goal is very ambitious. Yeah. In, you know this, in, to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote life learning for all citizens of our world. And it is directly uh, related with uh, Sustainable Development Goals 4 in education. Of course, uh, the goal is very uh, ambitious, yeah. but if we join our efforts, experience-based practice, I suppose that we can cope with all challenges that we see now. Now, the general economical and uh, social situation in the world not so good to uh, create some uh, clear approach and to define the concrete steps. We can define concrete steps, but we need more resources. We have to mobilize resources, both from public and private sectors. We have to mobilize resources of uh, the national and international expert communities. We have to mobilize, to mobilize resources of international organizations, of different stakeholders who understand that the education is just only tool which let us to receive uh, the peaceful environment for sustainable development of the all human mankind. So there are a lot of challenges like uh, the general literacy and digital literacy and uh, of course keeping in mind that now we are on the way towards uh, inclusive knowledge societies. We have to understand that we have to pay special attention to some uh, special demographics and special social group of people who before who has no chances to receive even not higher or other professional education but even uh, the general education general literacy and so we have to uh, unite all the opportunities resources uh, to understand that no future without education no future without cooperation no future without peace. The new generation, sometimes they have um, more skills, but not knowledge, how to apply ICT. And for teachers, it's very important to understand how they can use ICT first to find the common language with their students, then how to use the power of ICT to navigate through all these huge volumes of knowledge, of experience, of uh, creativity, of new generation on the right way. And uh, ICT, it's uh, very important by itself and ICT competency is very important by itself, but ICT competency or digital competency helps us to uh, create some uh, syn synergy between professional competency and social competency. Because you know, sometimes very good uh, specialist experts or teachers, they have a lot of knowledge, they are very experienced, but they have no uh, idea how to communicate with new generation. It's very important now to find the new model of organization of learning process when the teachers and students will be the collaborative partners. Yes. But not the teacher on the stage and uh, all these girls and boys sitting and afraid of what will be the next time. But when they came out from school they say, oh, we know what we have to do. So we have to create the new learning environment, ICT-based environment, but uh, to help all players of educational process to be the equal partners. And I think that is the way. And this also connected with the problem of open education resources, of uh, e-learning, mobile learning, because mobile learning is uh, also very important important field of ICT application, especially for 
uh, long uh, distance or how hard to reach regions, rural areas and so on. And uh, mobile technologies are very important both for uh, initial literacy, digital literacy and to uh, access to quality open educational resources.